Hey, throw that phone away. What's going on, man? It's Uncle Dub with the Herbal Tea Podcast. I am your host, Uncle Dub, and I'm sitting here with my co-host. Definitely, and welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. Where we come on the show, talk our stuff, kick it, and um, enjoy y'all, man. So we appreciate y'all coming out, man. So um, definitely, before we start the show, I want to give an apology from last um, our last episode to Arlene Johnson. The engineer has spelled her name wrong, so it's really Arlene, and you can definitely catch her. I forgot the name of her business, but be, um, before the show ends, I'm definitely going to um, make sure we shout her out, shout her business out, and make sure we pump her up, and y'all go to her page and support her definitely um second i want to say thank y'all for coming back man so we um appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying and um rita d how your weekend was my, how was your weekend my weekend was good i relaxed today oh, okay months i feel <laughs> yeah. like uh man it's, it's the rainy day i think man just got you in that mode where you just want to chill in the weekend they had a chicago taste fest this weekend i was gonna go but it was gonna rain so i was like nah oh you got family down there right yeah we was gonna definitely turn up but i don't want to go out of town to be in no bad weather man that yeah. gotta be the worst if you pay a lot for a fucking vacation and next thing you know you just rained out you know what i'm absolutely. saying absolutely shout out to chicago yeah. and family so in chicago the house down there we's gonna dry down but shout out to chicago Chicago, man, I'm glad everybody had a good time out here about no crazy stuff happening this weekend. So that's what's up. But um, definitely welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast, man, where our um, topic for the day is snitching or ditching. Snitching or motherfucking ditching. Now, if your child got into a situation where they was running from the police, be it a murder or a serious crime or armed robbery or something, would you turn, tell your child to turn your child in or <clears throat> Would you give them some money and help them get on the run and tell them to get the fuck on? So basically, man, we want to know what would you do with your child, man? What what, what would you do? So uh, asking the question of the day to you, Ms. Rita D, what would you do? Oh, I think it's too early. I don't, don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. Because you know we got some viewers. They probably going to call in. Yeah, you know, man, I don't want to sway them either, you either know, way, negative either or way, positive. Either, so either, I'm going to share way. mine, you know, me away. Yeah, what yeah, would you definitely. do, though? Um, I'm going to do the same. Because I think, you know, when you when you, when you tell, you know, to how you feel, they try to, you know, appease to you, whatever you want to do. So definitely, man. So today, right. man, I'm a, um, I definitely want to shout out to all the people who, um, and even though July 4th was their holiday, they still had a good time. You had a day off. It was on the weekend this week. But, you know, it's still a day to get the family together, man. I, I'm woke, but I ain't that woke, man. So, you know, we still celebrated, had a good time on the 4th of July. I see you got the blackout glasses on today, Rita. Do you come for the business? What? Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> what coming for the business. Anything, you see I'm man. looking down. Every yeah, time y'all see me looking down, I'm, I either, see. I'm either responding to somebody on Facebook, Instagram. Because yeah. um, we pumping now. It's going, yeah, man. Y'all miss us, man, and we appreciate y'all. So again, make sure y'all call it that number 248-854-9850. Man, definitely call it. But in. wait, you didn't get it. I didn't get a chance to tell you why I got the blackout glasses okay, on. Well, you, you know got the, the reason. Well, why you got the blackout glasses on? Talk to me there, boy. I'm just feeling this black empowerment. <laughs> yes. Since we did the Juneteenth. Man, come on. All I'm gonna say is people been hitting me in my Man. inbox asking me where I'm getting my shirts from, mm -hmm. how I feel about it. And yeah. so I'm I'm with the black miss with the black shirt today. I don't know if anybody can see my shirt. Yeah. However, I'm gonna give I'm gonna stand up at the end of the show, show y'all my shirt. Shit, man. Black. Oh, she said I can stand up. Okay. Black mixed with black. There's my yeah. shirt. I got these Adidas on. <clears throat> Somebody, you know what somebody hey. told me over the weekend uh, what Adidas stand for? What? All niggas in Detroit lie. See, that is so fucked up, man. Ain't no all niggas in Detroit live, man. That is not, man. I ain't never seen. That don't even go together, man. There's no Ian in Adidas. You see, that's yeah. what okay, I'm well, saying, man. Okay, well, maybe I got man. it wrong. Let me check so we my got a call on the line? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I heard. Well, no, it's something like that. But uh, at the end of the day, like I do want to say, man, I appreciate y'all showing love to the black culture, man. Even though everybody was lying in the COVID and after the uh, George Floyd thing, they was putting money into us, it seemed like we just got empowered off, uh, off ourselves. So if it is the people, or the niggas is going out here saving their money, just pushing their businesses. Everybody getting an LLC. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get y'all Duns and Bradstreet number going. U line where you can buy stuff and push your boost your business credit up. That's a little game right there. So you could try to go get you a bigger loan. You know, a lot of people won't tell you that, man. That you can, you know, you, you could build your business credit faster than you can your personal credit. So that's just a tidbit from me, man. So we're gonna get into the show today. Like I said, the question of the day is: If your son or your daughter get into a to a jam where they did. Uh, uh, committed a you know little crime or whatever well serious crime actually would you help them get away or would you tell them to, tell them to turn themselves in or would you turn them in all right i'm gonna get to the first question of the day ladies can your girlfriend sit inside your house with your boyfriend and husband without you being home 
Like if she, if you, <laughs> she say no. So like, what I'm saying is, if you know, you say, okay, girl, meet me at the crib. And then as soon as y'all get to the crib, when she get to your house, you're not there. You got stuck in traffic for 30. You know, you may be beyond 30 minutes. Can she go in the house? She's like, girl, go in the house and sit with my husband. And what you think about that, Rita D? My close personal girlfriend. Yeah, your girlfriend, your homie, whoever. Mm -hmm. Or is it a select a few of friends that you have that you don't trust, you know what I'm saying, that you know how they really are? See, a lot of women don't want to separate friends. Y'all be thinking everybody your girlfriend. You can't, everybody ain't your everybody friend. Everybody is not your friend. And once somebody showed me that they're not my friend, I can't even mess with them no more. Mm. So with that being said, I have a lot of family, so I really don't need a lot of friends. And those people mm. that are my friends become my family, so. Yeah. Ugh, that's a sticky, that, that, that's, that's so a question. So would you question. tell her, if she was like, yeah, girl, I got to use the bathroom. You know, they use the bathroom, that's how they get close. You know what I'm saying? Would you let her go ahead and just say, go ahead, go in the house? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who it is. Oh, okay, depending on I who mean, it is. I mean, 90% of my friends mm -hmm. can go in and... Okay. I mean, one of my friends have a key to my house. Oh, she straight up. To my that's, house. that's real trust. So what that's was you was the, what was you, what if you was the friend that was sitting outside? Would you want to go oh, in with her husband? or You um, know, if all y'all hanging cool, it ain't like you know, y'all no strangers. If y'all all y'all hanging cool, would you still would you be like shit? I'm going there and holler at Rick. You know what I'm saying? If Talk some shit to Rick. I'm going in. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell her like, hey, can you let um your husband? No, I'm about <laughs> I'm about to pee. Pee. But would you stay in there and kick it or would you? Nah, I'm yeah. probably gonna you know use the bathroom away to her. I think me court. myself, man, I'll probably just leave until you come back. You know what I'm saying? Go to the store. You know what I'm saying? Shoot a move real quick because a lot of times you put people in certain situations and, and some and, he, and you may come and look at it different when you walk in the house. You know what I'm saying or you know what I'm saying? I don't right. know how people's spouses be. People's spouses, because you married, don't mean a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Faithful to your situation. Faithful to their situation. And to try you. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been hit on by somebody else's spouse? Yeah. Oh, It man. was very uncomfortable, too. Straight up? What happened? I mean, I, you know what? I didn't say anything initially, you know, because I felt like mm. he was so just blunt with it that I felt like <laughs> it if she didn't see the disrespect yeah. why should I even you know feel yeah. the need to tell what, her because he obviously drunk? it hasn't happened before was he drunk or you know what it's really hard to tell yeah. he's all over the place oh, okay. all the time that we see him yeah. everybody knows like, here he come again mm -hmm. but like you said if she was sitting there and she seen him hitting on her you know hitting on you it had happened before, and she didn't really care, you know what I'm saying, what the yeah. fuck you do. So, yeah, that's crazy as hell, man. I, um, I've um, i been hit on by somebody's spouse, you know what I'm saying, me personally, yeah, at one time. I've been hit on by somebody's side chick, and they got mad, though. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the side chick. They be like, nigga. Like, nigga, what did you mad for? Nigga got mad to the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, sometimes, man, motherfuckers be putting more love with their side chick than they chick at home, man. Absolutely. Don't be going absolutely. to bash your woman with your side chick. Because nigga, that bitch don't what? care about you. She's just getting them a couple dollars, motherfucker. That's the problem, because the side chick, they don't know what lane to stay in, because you make them feel so comfortable that they can say whatever they want to say. Yeah. Then they fall out of character when they're around your wife or your significant other, and then they switch in and out of lanes. Then it just become a whole bunch of drama. Yeah. So I don't even understand why the label side chick is so acceptable now. Why is it okay to be a side chick? I'm... I think it's a bigger, broad way of how we look at um, just just dating now. You know, as far as dating, um, it's so it's so it's so much quantity. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a lot a lot of quality. Oh, because, you better say it. Yeah, quantity and, 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 over quality. Yeah, but it's so much out here. You know what I'm saying? If if, if your man not doing something right at home, you got thirty niggas in your inbox that's gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? That they can do it better than him, or they can do it right. And you can that giving you that imagination in dating. And you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we fall victim to that because we we, we get to start looking for the shit that we want instead of the stuff that we need and the stuff yeah. that we. Need need is what's going to get us a feed that seed and a feed that soil for we can build something in the future but we always trying to go out you know now everybody look at looks and you got to have your body a certain type of way and yeah you know, what's so, up with that yeah. you know shout out to everybody that's um been doing the walking challenge Man, shout and... out to them bitches doing lipo too hey get it done <laughs> quick <laughs> nigga, I support it. Nigga, hey, he'll come back. Shout out Don't spend to that 4900 But yeah. you know what? Shout out I to the play. people that's doing life on is actually Man. mentally prepared to do life on. Because yeah. it's a lot of people out there that's doing these quick fixes with your body and your mind is not even there. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand. If your mind is not there mentally, your body is yeah. not going to be receptive to it. And yeah. you're just going to get big again. And you know what? Really? But why is it not okay to be big? <laughs>
Cuz y'all niggas be sweating in y'all sleep, man. Ain't nobody <laughs> got time to have a fan on that in the winter time. Old. You know what I'm saying? That comes <laughs> with getting old. You're sweating in your sleep because it comes with getting old. Because look, the 20 year old oh. body is definitely not the 40 year old body. <laughs> no, 40 year old body, I just found out yeah. about. Um, I've been sweating all the time since I've been 40. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Man. You say what? Well, but no, nah, though, man, there ain't nothing wrong with a big body, but I think health is wealth, <laughs> man. I think body. you should look the best you can right now. Why would you, you know, saying so these your best years, these your golden years. Look the best you can, work out and be healthy, and it's a lifestyle. You can't just it go to the lifestyle. gym and then eat a pizza. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. you could put bad shit inside yourself. So you definitely so got to. you gotta... can't walk seven miles and then come home and eat Oreo? No, I, I wouldn't. Why push it? Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, that I mean, one is bad, though. I that one bad because it triggers your system to shut but back why down. why do we feel like we got to deprive ourselves? Why do we also feel like once we're working out yeah. that we cannot eat a cookie? Like... I'm so tired of people on social media <laughs> because they make you feel bad. I asked yeah. the other day, I said, look, can y'all give me some healthy options other than pizza, hick, salad? Yeah. I don't know if that is. <laughs> the lettuce is water, man. That shit is man. like water in your body. But um, what it is, is it go back to how our parents used to raise us with the broccoli and the shit on the end of the plate that we didn't like to eat. You know, they were I just trying to tell us. Broccoli. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, but, you know, vegetables and all that shit. I don't eat no okra and no shit like that, but health is wealth, man. And if you want to live in here, man, money don't count if you can't live to spend it. Get your so order definitely, up. man, get don't your shit up, man. All right, next question, man. That was a good one, man. I love, man. I missed you though, man. We gotta, we can't miss no more day. All, you know what's crazy is all the holidays been falling on Sunday, so all that's why the shit all been fucked up for us. And we got family you want to enjoy too, cause we work hard just like y'all niggas. So day off, nigga. Hell oh, yeah. Okay. All right. The phrase, I don't care what people think about me. Is that a realistic phrase or question? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I think that. Mm. I don't care what people think about me. I feel like it's it's not a phrase. I feel like people realistically want to feel that way. You want to say that you don't care what people think because ultimately at the end of the day, you're still going to make your own decisions and you're still going to live by what you feel is true to yourself. So I feel like when people say they don't care about what other people think, it's... 80-20. Yeah. 80% um, yeah. of you feel that way. Like, I don't care what people think. 20% of you also, you put up a picture, you want somebody to like it, right? Because yeah, you like it. You do. But really, in your mental, do you really care if people like it or not? You like it, right? Now, That's why let me you tell put you, it up. If I put a picture up and after an hour I only got seven likes, I'm going to be mad <laughs> <the> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. So, I mean, but I don't know. Those seven pissed. likes is... Go seven likes is worth it. That's that scroll through, like, ain't nobody like it, shit. I'm going to like it. <laughs> Nigga, don't give me no sympathy likes, motherfucker. Hey, do you give a sympathy <laughs> comment, though? Do uh, you read the comments? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I read the comments, I don't and, even say and nothing. Then, then I see it, I reply. They only reply back, motherfucker. I see okay. you six months from now. But no, no, I mean, social media is just Hey, wait. If I comment on your shit, you better say something. Man, say something. Like it or whatever. Because <laughs> if you comment on mine, nine yeah. times out of ten, I'm going to comment back you know, to what you said, because I want to acknowledge the fact that you ain't have to say something or like or what's up, but I want to acknowledge the fact that that's what's up. Yeah, but I think that um, far as um, do I care what people think, I mean, you you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're on social media, unless you're somewhere, you know what I'm saying, off, off grid or doing something like that, social media, the way you dress, the way you present yourself, you know what I'm saying, far as business, you know, far as just your kids, you don't want to be looking any way around your kids because they know what's cool. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you cool, but you got to be clean. And um, I think you that, uh, um, yeah, real shit. So you clean. Can, you, Speaking man, of clean, yeah. let me put some. Did you say Hannah? Man, I don't know, but square me some shit. I appreciate that. Speaking of clean, let me go on to clean. <laughs> okay, talk that shit. People still wearing masks? Because I ain't I seen don't, nobody. Nigga, I was just talking to my I'm man. I'm about to take my glasses off because I'm about to get real with y'all. I'm about to get so real with uh -oh. y'all because I've read been at the read grocery store. Uh -oh. Read the D's part one. <laughs> I went to the grocery store. <laughs> they not even giving you six feet yet. Six feet? Right. Dog, you're on my back. Yeah. Then you get back. <laughs> I'm moving forward, which means that you stay back, right. which means that you still see these signs on the floor. Get the fuck back, nigga. Could you please get back? Yes. Could y'all, could, could you guys please respect mm. the fact that some people are still living as if we're in a pandemic? And could y'all please, yeah. six feet, please wear your mask. Your mask. your mask. I am one of those ones who have forgotten my mask. Yeah. I 
I've left the parking lot completely because I'm not walking back to the car, <laughs> yeah, yeah. especially in them 90 degree weather, and I'm not yeah. going back to the car. So, are you still wearing a mask? Are you yes, still masking up? I'm still masking up. I um, I, I yesterday I was in Royal Oak yesterday after I had left the gym, and when I had left the gym and shit, I was wearing my mask and shit, and I was walking. I was outside wearing my mask because there was a lot of people outside, and the people was looking at me like I was. A alien or something <laughs> like this big ass nigga with this mask on like you know like I don't know I I, I seem like a, it's, I, you weird now with a mask on but I still want to wear my mask they, you know what I'm saying yeah. especially them days I ain't got no motherfucking haircut nigga I want to nigga put my shit up and be cool so haircut or facial <laughs> my cut my facial cut uh -huh. okay. <laughs> but no though I I, I'm know. still in the pandemic man I'm still, oh, still in the pandemic cause I didn't catch COVID so it must be I had, must have had some kind of lucky streak or something favor that's called favor yeah, favor was man. a part of your life yeah definitely man so hell yeah and they yeah. saying we coming with another strand I don't know they've been saying we coming with another strand but I'm saying this to all everybody Mm -hmm. Listen to what these people are saying. Even before the levees broke in New Orleans, when they had the last Hurricane Katrina, they were saying, hey, these levees are going to break. Yeah. Some people, you know, listen, and some people don't. Don't don't think that it's, you know, it's whack, it's crazy for right. people to be believing this, for people to be wearing masks, for people not to be, you know, believing in God. Because a mm -hmm. lot of people are saying, well, do you believe in God? If you believe in God, then you won't get it. You know what? <laughs> He said you gotta it was protect be your motherfucking trial. self. Hell yeah! Now, you know, at the end of the day, you definitely gotta protect yourself, and um, yeah. and you can protect yourself. But see, I think with the with the uh, COVID, we're not gonna get too far up in this shit because I know y'all got Dr. Fauci and all them niggas to watch for the shit. So I know y'all to come here for that. And shit. And they want to listen to the Urban you know T podcast and yeah. what we feel on it as well. Yeah, yeah, but I I just think that um, it's it's always gonna be something from now on out. You know what I'm it saying? Is. So it's always gonna be a scare. Like Ralph Child said, you keep a nation dumb, you can control its currency. So long as these niggas out here fooled and scared and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just like just like they do a war. When they put war, they be like, oh, we going to war, we are gonna spend all this money. Yeah. We don't know where that money going, nigga. Niggas they spend like sixty no billion chicken. dollars. Seven bucks. Yeah. So they said we don't got no chicken. Somebody yeah, chicken run that. out. It's gonna be a problem in my way. Nigga. What about watermelon? No, I, 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 I eat watermelon too. What thing the monkeys had that shit right? We do eat chicken and watermelon. So fuck up your money if you want to with chicken and the watermelon. Yeah. Okay. Nigga, I eat chicken and watermelon, but uh, no nah, man, it is. If it was a shortage of chicken, it's, it's gonna be a fuck. Y'all, we try to make us go vegan, nigga. We like chicken. They ain't trying to make us go vegan. They don't want us to go vegan. Oh, every all these vegan commercials, y'all making the fuck. I'll put that chicken in that grease. Okay. Hell yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, if we are if if we have all these dating sites and social media, you know, shit that we can get on, why is everybody single, man? What is the bigger picture? Because <laughs> we don't have no trusting sites. <laughs> We're the trusting sites just, that go with those social media sites. Yeah, man, and you got talk. people over there, you got people on social media, first of all, they're not who they say they are. Oh. Have you ever? Let me ask you this, cause we asked, we talked about shit earlier. Let me come on, baby, come on in. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. Hello. How you? What's up, Camille? You all right? Yeah, man. We wanna. Um, we about to have the engineer type her in and shit real quick. But um, what we was talking about um, right now was um, why are so many dating sites and you can't find love? The question where I was gonna ask you was, have you ever found? <laughs> Love off a computer or found a good relationship with a good person off the internet? No, because my mom got me freaked out about uh, all these different sites. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's Mingle? What's that? Mingle. M no, is that a site? Or some Mingle? Christian Mingle. Oh, I was Christian. on Christian Mingle, man. Them hoes was putting titties all in my inbox. <laughs> Ain't no Dutch Christ over there. Yeah, yeah. My exactly. Yeah, man. I, I apologize. There may be some good women on there. <laughs> but, man, as soon as you post your picture up, them old women want to get that cat up. They be waiting for you somebody to walk what? through the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't know yeah. if these sites, you got that Christian Mingo out here. Yeah. You got uh, professionals out here. Yeah. Are they really working? Or is it they got an <laughs> LLC? Or, you know, they just putting their information they out. They just see the website. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't no, know. man. I, um, I think that um, you can meet good people. I think right now, the internet is the only way to date. Like, if you try to talk to somebody at the gas station, they think you try to rob them or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely, man. Yeah. So what I want to do is um, right now, um, I don't know if you got the camera set up, Queen. I want to bring in my um, my guest, uh, Camille, man. Definitely, man. We want to welcome her to the um, podcast. She came on to talk some shit with us, have a good time with That's us. Um, definitely. So, Camille, how was your weekend? What was going on with you? Hi. Um, this weekend was good. 
this weekend I worked a lot. So oh, okay. I do, I'm a brand ambassador for Bacardi. Okay, talk so. your shit, Queen. This is like, this what we have. So I'll bring it on the show. She make 100K. She single. Yeah. So think- that's what I was doing pretty much this weekend. Today I was trying to take it easy and then come join the conversation with you guys. Okay, man, that's definitely. We appreciate you, man. Me and Rita D, man. You're always welcome. So the question of the day to the people that out in the audience is, if your child did a... a, 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 a if your child committed a fucked up crime, you know what I'm saying, like you know, murder, robbery, whatever, would you snitch or would you ditch? Would you help him get away or would you help him turn himself in? So that's the number that we can call two four eight. Eight five four nine eight five zero. Come you're on, man, that's supposed to be our little number. thing. That's supposed to be oh, our little. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do it, do you can call the is. number two four eight. Eight five four nine eight five zero. Hey, okay, Bert. Yeah. Okay, Bert, Come on, Gina. Gina. Yeah. Yeah, Let's man. Get so, it. so we get into our question today, man. So our next question is, uh, my bad. Hold on, I'm on this, baby. I'm on this. I'm on this. Have you ever been in a relationship with a man who was ultra sensitive or easily hurt? And how did you deal with that? Mm. I'm gonna let the guests go first, Queen. You over there? I see you. You over there? Got your she face primed? Up. She got that Gemini on her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you telling people all my business? No, I'm just saying you a Gemini. We the best in the world. Gemini they season just passed. Yeah. The best. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. went into Cancer season too. We just took over. Yeah, we went, yeah we did slide over into Cancer because they was like, it's because of the pandemic. No, it's not. It's over. Yo, this Gemini was over. I was at a party. Ain't nobody last night on the East Side. That shit was lit as hell. But uh, back Where to was the East Side. Eat. Man, I didn't know where I was going, man. Hey, man. East side be lit. Lit. The whole shout out to the east side. Man, shout out to hey, the east side and the women side. over there, for real, for real. All oh, them, them PPP. Go ahead, but I'm asking. They got a all question. the PPP. Okay? Man, what? Hey. Man, I rode they the Jaguar motorcycle yesterday. Yeah, but I'm saying. So the question was, Queen. I, you know, my bad. I'm gonna let you answer the question. I apologize. So okay. So have I dated a man that was ultra sensitive? Sensitive. Yeah. I feel like always. <laughs> That's why I was making that face. Yeah. But, um, when you say ultra sensitive, I weigh it with um, not being emotionally mature. Mm. Come on now. Now you talking now. I'm so not, not okay. uh, so much of ultra sensitive just being like, you know, a, a punk, but it's just like they're, they don't know how to um, control their emotions or they don't know, they're not mature with their emotions, so they do dumb shit. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Because right. they're emotional, but they don't know how to express it. Mm-hmm. And, be, and a lot of times, uh, my bad, Rita D, I'll let you answer it too. You're right about that though, Queen. I'll let you answer Rita D. Or I just feel like they always in their feelings. Like, even when you're not with them any yeah. longer, mm-hmm. they find things with other people that they want to compare themselves to. Right. They're ultra sensitive. Like, he don't look better than me. Mm-hmm. He ain't going to give you what he... I'm going to give you. Well, if all that was true, I'm not even with you. I'm dealing with that situation right now. Like, I recently ran into one of my boys, and he like, oh, that's your man? Mm-hmm. No, that's not. That's a friend that... Yeah. I, and I think that a lot of men they Bellas. come emotions because they we a lot of us come from a, a single parent home. You got the re, you got the serious voice on uh, right I'm now. Just okay, trying to stay Ayana, like, like, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, 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 I just You're think that um, right now. all right, my bad, man. I was just sounding good in the headphones, nigga. So my bad, I was sounding good <laughs> uh, the, to me. The yeah. voice. Okay. No, but okay. um, I think that um, a lot of men are sensitive because we grew up in a, a single parent home, man. So we kind of take on her her traits and her characteristics as well, mm-hmm. being around that. And that's when you when you find a lot of men that hit on women and beat on women and verbally attack women, it's because they come from a mom that's a bitter woman, and, a, and you know. But we got to call her, call her in. Caller, thank you for calling the Herbal Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Dub. Man, our topic for the day is if your kid get caught in a serious situation, like a murder or a serious situation with the law, would you snitch or ditch? Would you help them get away? Would you turn them in? How you doing, caller? What's your name and where you calling from? Hello. Hello, you hear us? What's your name and where you calling from? This is Angie. I'm calling 
from Detroit, Michigan. Oh, what's going on, Angie? Hey, I appreciate Angie. you Shout calling. Shout out to the D. So our question for the day is, if your child got caught in a serious situation such as a murder or anything or something serious like that, would you snitch or ditch? Would you help them get away or would you um, turn them in or tell them to turn themselves in? Oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a hard question. I guess it depends on the crime. Uh -huh. You know, like, of course, if he went out, if they went out and killed someone, right. you know, I, I guess it just all depends pretty much because um, if they possibly went out and just killed somebody on some dumb stuff, then, yeah, I, I would. I, I probably wouldn't be with it. Right. So, you know, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be with anything like that. But if it was to protect, you know, so. probably one of their siblings or, you know, possibly myself, which is their mother or father or something like that, mm. I, I would be, you know, I would definitely defend them. Just yeah. like I said, it depends on the crime. Yeah, it does depend on the crime. And then at the same time, you want to be that type of parent that still, you love them. So, you know, you don't know what you're going to do, man. I appreciate you calling in, Queen. That was dope. Thank Thank you, Miss Angie from Detroit, man. That was dope, man. Give her a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? For the caller. That's a deep question, man. Definitely, man. Mm -hmm. But I just, um, but getting back to what we was talking about was, um, a lot of men, like I said, that hit on women or be down on women and shit, they seen their mama be bitter bitches around the crib because they daddy and the niggas that they fuck with wasn't real with them. You know what I'm saying? So they took on that negative-ass energy, you know what I'm saying, as far as being a, a whole-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And we got to watch out for these motherfuckers because they try to infiltrate the pool and they make black women be afraid to date black men. You know what I'm saying? Because we some good out here. It's just a lot of us have hurts that we don't heal. You know what I'm saying? That's so, very, I love that. Yeah. It, so it, it's from traumas. Yeah, it's traumas. And, and you, I know in, a, in our community, it's like counseling is taboo. People don't like to go to counseling. Yeah. But I right. think you need it because you go through all these traumas and you don't know how to process it. That's real you shit. You just suppress it and then you get into certain situations where you're triggered. Right. And you just go off on something. And, this, and, and as a man, as me being a black man, it's hard to be vulnerable with people because we always taught to nigga don't let nobody see you cry nigga stop crying what your mama say stop crying right nigga why i gotta stop crying this shit hurt you know what i'm saying so we when it comes to our, okay. so when it comes yeah, to our okay. feelings it's the same way you know what yeah. i'm saying i don't want to crush up y'all niggas i'm crying because you know it's, it's a sign of weakness you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. it's a better way that we got to start teaching our kids and our sons man let your emotions go don't be a whole ass don't let everybody see you do it but if you feel that way feel that way yeah. you know and definitely I think roles are changing i mean mm -hmm. even when a baby hurt themselves now you're even telling the baby daughter like it's okay yeah. you know don't cry right. it'll be all right just take. i got you you yeah mm -hmm. just take it. come on Sharita, just like even it. with the men like that we choose to date or when mm -hmm. we get older in relationships it's okay. Yeah. You're going to bounce back from it. You're going to move on. Mm. You can keep it pushing. It ain't killing so, you. It, it's not. You know what it's saying? not. What don't Whoa. kill you? Make you strong. strong. That, that's, that's a that's weak. That's hey, that's hey. hey. That's sometimes we kill you. got to get the fuck away from what's killing you, nigga. <laughs> okay. And be stronger for yourself. You have Hell to. Hell yeah, man. That's, that, that shit got... Nigga, this shit go good. Yeah, that was a good ass. I mean, you le I mean, your voice went back and I leaned back. Man, and I, I sound like Tom Jordan and one of them niggas. Cry, man. Close your eyes. <laughs> make a wish. Okay. Hell yeah. For real, man. You got deep on that one. All, All right, right. Let me ask y'all this y'all queens this question. In a relationship, if one party tells or asks the other one that they need space, should that be or can that be how how should that be interpreted? Does that mean it's over? Or are you being too clingy? Mm. We go for you to read it, D, because you and you and D thought he wanted to guess the answer first. That's a deep one. Though. That's a deep one. I'll go first. I feel mm -hmm. like um, if, I, if I'm telling you I need space, I need physically mm -hmm. for you to remove yourself from whatever situation that we are in right now. I need mm -hmm. you to detach from it. I mm -hmm. need you to sit back. I need you to relax, and I need you to find you a some peace because yeah. I'm that's where I'm trying to I'm trying to find me some peace so I need some space that doesn't mean that we through or we finished it just mean in the sense that right now move bitch need, get, get out, out the way get no, out the way yeah I need some space yeah man because you doing too much you doing too much <laughs> go to another part of the house if you got to yeah but yeah leave this house but, but let me ask you this though Rita D what if they tell you 
that you doing too much. Like, what do they tell like, you? And they need some Yeah, coach. so is the relationship oh, yeah. over? Is that yeah. hurting your feelings, I'm, your pride? You know what? Because oh, I'm baby. emotional. Yeah, and I can't let go. Ja- yes. Uh, Come on, I remember Carl. Carl Thomas, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out though. to the legend. All right. Yeah. But no, for real, if a person <laughs> tell me that I'm too clingy, mm. too clingy, because I want to be all up on my man. I'm yeah, going to say that. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, for the, the future um, man or mm. men that's in my life, I'm all over you. Yeah. So, with that being said, if somebody told me I'm too clingy or you said space, it's yeah. two different things. Yeah, he'd be like, hey, man, you know, what? this is a scenario so we can make it easy for both of y'all. <clears throat> He called like, damn, you know, we, we be spending a lot of time together and shit, but I feel like we, we just gaining too much ground too fast. So I think we should just give, you know, I'll call oh, you here. Oh, too fast? That mean that's at the <clears throat> beginning. That mean that that, I might close the door. It be over? It's I'm over. dating other people. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's real shit. Because that's it, at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We moving too fast. Mm-hmm. I, I'm good with slowing it down. Yeah, I'm good. But if we in a committed relationship and you saying that you need some space, mm. for women, that's like... You about to mess with somebody else. <laughs> I'm about to start dating in this show. What you think here. about that, Mia? What you think about that? Okay, I, I agree with Rita, mm-hmm. but I need clarification. What what is this space? Mm. Is this space just I love it. today? Yeah. I love it. And you just need your peace? Right. Either way for myself or for himself mm. or are you saying I need space like I need to pause like yeah. what you're saying then mm. okay cool I'm about to date other people yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and don't yeah. get mad don't get in your yeah. feelings Please, don't yeah. Yeah. you know what that, there's nothing wrong with dating you don't have to be in a sexual relationship with everybody that you're dating and that is where the roles get confusing because men feel like oh I'm not about to chase this person yeah. um Women nowadays, if that's all you're looking for is something sexual, you can let us know. Yeah. Because that's sometimes the only thing that, that women are know looking why? for as well. <clears throat> because y'all getting so much money, y'all don't really need a nigga at the crib telling y'all what to do. You know what I'm saying? That the the roles of a woman have changed. Y'all making a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand now. So for a nigga to be like, hey babe, did you cook today? Why you didn't cook? Man, nigga, I'm what? Tired. What? <laughs> nigga? What? Nigga, please. I don't well, have to. Let's cook together. Yeah. That could be cool, but what we if can, you tired? What? It was a lot of time. I mean, not no, no. I'm if saying, he's tired, then we can go out to dinner together. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Order in or but something. I'm saying, I'll it out or no, something. But what I'm saying, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, far as the, I'm far as the bigger picture in the role reversal, how shit is now. As far as women back in the day, y'all needed a man to take care and lead the home and make sure everything. Now women go off a thing of, I've been paying these bills, nigga. You ain't finna come in here and dictate shit. You know what I'm saying? I get, I, I make sure you know that you a leader, you the head of the household. But when it comes down to my half, I'm, a, I got me and I got the kids. You know what I'm saying? So I it's kind of a separation. Right. Of course. Of Instead part. of, um, mm. I think in this day and age, it's more partnerships, and you need to figure out each other's strengths and yeah. play off of that in a relationship instead of somebody to try to outdo the other person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you probably have less conflict. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? And then a lot of times, a lot of conflict come from that struggle, that battle of financial. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really need this nigga or I don't really need her. You know what I'm saying? I'm so like somebody has to bow. Oh, my bad. No, when people get to that point where I don't really need them or I don't really need her, that part, mm-hmm. that relationship is already over because... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Phys- mentally, we've been out the relationship. Yeah. We just haven't left out the door. So physically, mm. we still there. But right. if I'm getting to the point Mentally. where I don't need you, yeah. next Mentally, thing I'm is, gone. I'm out. And then, you know what? And that draws me into my next question. This phrase, I don't need a man. Is it, what me and Rita talked about earlier, you just came in. Is that realistic, though? Do a woman really need a, a man to raise her kids, to lead her household? Is that an old biblical thing that we to outgrew? You know what I'm saying? I need a man. You need a I man. I need a man. <laughs> I need a man. I need a man. I need a man. I need a man. I mean, I'm just asking y'all. When I was because younger, you wasn't I used here to earlier, so that. I used to think like that, but then as I got more mature, yes. we do. We need each other for balance. For yes, balance. we do. Because, yes, I can do it all on my, on my own. I have, yeah. and I do it, but it's still it's no balance. Mm. It's still one person doing everything. You can do so much more and bigger and faster if you have a good partnership. Now, yeah. if it's yeah. not, if it's toxic, I'm not about that but if it's yeah. a good partnership but sometimes yeah. relationship mm. balance but sometimes but sometimes them toxic relationships be the best <laughs> 
Nigga, you can fuck, cuss their ass, start putting them out and eat by yourself and watch your own movie. You be like, bitch, get the fuck out. I'm about to eat, watch my movie, watch the game. What you somebody. Text me. What you doing? Did you go straight home? Man, niggas be crazy as hell. Yeah, man, you love man. for sex. That'd be the best sex is a toxic relationships. Okay, Why man, is I'm about that? to. I, yeah, yeah, that's real. You said, what, is, what you said? Why is that? What, the toxic, toxic be the best? Be the best. Because you be like, I. Because you be like, this dick's so good. You know they ain't shit. Or this pussy's so good. I know she ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? It make you think of your mind, man. So, yeah, hey, don't forget to call in a 248. Two, oh, let me do it. Let me do it. 248. Okay. 854. Nine eight five zero. Bang bang herbal tea podcast, man. Make sure y'all like, share, and support this shit. Cause I support y'all weak ass businesses when y'all ain't asked me, nigga. So fuck with us, man. <laughs> so the next question is, <laughs> you just mad all day? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the yeah. yeah, cause niggas act like. But anyway, we get into that now. All right, the next question is now this kind of deep, right, cause we having fun. We having fun. What is the difference between what Cardi B did and Bill Cosby? Cardi B drug somebody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She should, say oh, she, she? she should drug him and, and, and rob him. She said on Instagram. Oh yeah, Instagram. but I don't, I don't think about that no more because uh -oh. that's what she, that was her formula. No, line. but I'm, no, no, I'm just saying, as far as just people, period. Though, what was, why is there a difference how we look at people? You know what I'm saying? As far as we still look at her like she was just surviving, then and looking at him like he was a predator. You know what I'm saying? Man, them women knew what they was doing. They, they knew was going it, over there. Man, so man, I ain't man, about they, to address they, that man. no more because at the end of the day, hey, justice was served. He's mm -hmm. out. I felt like it was an OJ trial and. He he out now. What we should be talking about is R. Kelly. What was the difference with R. Kelly? Man, my baby gone, man. My baby but done. But would you go to a concert if he came out? Yes, I would yes. be there with two yes. babies. Man, my side bitch gonna be on the other side <laughs> getting those hot dogs. <laughs> nigga, I love R. Kelly. <laughs> nigga. I got wow. me fucked up. I grew up on R. Up. Kelly. Nigga made yes. kids off R. Kelly. That music will always live with me. R. Kelly nigga, came I on the radio the other day. Mm, man, my bodies, I hear you calling. Twelve nigga, that sound like a song. Man, come on. Love. Man, I'm sorry. And you know what? And I'm not trying to say that what he did was right. But this, his music is, is so embedded in me, man, man, I can't just throw that away. I'm, Dude I'm said, do you mind if I give you some of my 12 Do play. you mind? Whoa! Did that sound like something? Did that sound like something? Man, I'm about to start the birthday. My mind. Uh, Telling me no. But my body. <laughs> okay, nigga. Now. All right. Okay, now. I'm too big my to sing. I like it. I'm too tall, me. big to sing. All but right. I would. No, no, shout out to shout out to just black. I want yeah. everybody black to win, man. Yeah, me too. Man. I agree. We be so down on ourselves. What's up? What y'all got going on? You got some questions going on? Talk I mean, shit. I got a couple of questions. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, I've been talking about shit. I'm, like, hey, I'm retired. Listen. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is some of these questions I got off people pages. Mm -hmm. So if y'all see that I'm on y'all page, I got some of the yeah. questions from there. Herbal Tea Podcast. Don't forget That's to call in to two four eight eight five four nine eight five zero. Better, better. Follow better. us. Go on podcast on Facebook. On Facebook, and you can catch us on Herbal Tea Podcast on Facebook and motherfucking YouTube. Um, All I'm just saying is the devil's a lie because that power went out. Oh, it what went was out, going man. on Somebody there? Somebody shocked me. We still up and what running. What spirit is in here? Oh, okay, we still up and running. <laughs> we man. still up and running, though. man. I, I'm scared of spirits. I smoke. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's the problem. You need to probably stop smoking. Hell yeah, I am, man. Hell yeah. Shit. But no, I was about how come dudes always when you tell them that you about to go over your girl's house or your cousin house you about to stop at your family and you be like oh yeah you can come through they want to know how everybody over there look yeah what's the problem with that because, everybody yes. look like how they look you know what man it just because you want to just see how the family look because this, it may be a, a, how your mama look kind of gonna be how you gonna kind of yeah you know what i'm saying and that and that you know what I'm my saying? mama is yeah, hey mama i makes got it call. My all, mama, right, man, all respect you know my mama what I'm saying? rest in peace Fun. to my mom man rest in peace she to your mom she was beautiful yeah. but yeah. I got, I'm blessed. Yeah, and yeah. my grandma. My grandmother turned 99 this year. Straight up. My Ooh, grandma turned 95. Yeah. Shout out to grandma. We going to Chicago. <laughs> shout out to my family. But no, you look beautiful, Queen. That food, man. Yeah, I hope I live to 99. Well, thank you. Hell yeah. That a favor. <laughs> so what's your <laughs> question, Rita D? My right? question was, how come dudes always want to know how everybody over there look? Because. Don't be some ugly ones. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Them are going to be the lit ones. Cuz. Turn hey, up, cuz. Exactly. We lit. Hey, 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 no cap. Them niggas got all the no, money. No cap. Them niggas got all the money. <laughs> saying illegal, they 
taught me what cap was. Hell yeah, because I ain't know what the fuck they was talking yes. about. I ain't even gonna lie. But no, nah, man, I think that me and this, um, we always want to assess the environment because we've been taught to watch our environment. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we want to know who all over there. Nigga, I ain't going over there. When I, when I say who all over there, is this family, family, or some niggas you just know? You know, everybody yeah. want to call somebody they cousin there, well, it's just or whatever, yeah. nigga. Is this your real cousin? Because I can come over there and drop my guard a little bit because I know, you know, so nine times out of ten ain't no bullshit going to happen. Especially around my family because we don't get down <laughs> like that. Hell yeah. Now, if it's just cuz, cuz that you just know you was fucking them <laughs> back in the day and you, you started having a party today you inviting me, let me know that. Why you know, everybody that, that yeah. you used to sleep with no. got to be your brother now? No, you're like, right. That's bro. No, nah, nah, bitch. Nah, that, 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 you was fucking him. I know it. Yeah, I don't, when I see y'all in the kitchen together, bitch, I'll be upset. That's why I be having exactly. an attitude. That, I've right? been in that situation, but mm-hmm. I was the cousin. I felt so bad. I'm like, why would you lie on me like this? Are uh, you what? Like, so wait, I was saying I was his cousin. Yeah. Yeah. His his girl, Did you, his you play the role? Oh, man. I mean, man. I was going to front on Duh, you. Shout out to you, man. Man, 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 man. Give me a round of applause, nigga. Yes. Yes. Play your role. But I had to pull it well, you pull it to the side, just be like, cuz, chill. And that's all women want to know. All you got to do is tell us, what role are we playing today? Yes. That's how sad pieces yeah, yeah. don't know what their roles are because they don't know how to stay in their lane. Because niggas be they pillow overact. talking and trying to take them to the next level. You women, gotta still, yeah. stop overacting out here, That's okay? real talk. That's <laughs> real talk. Because niggas be lying to their ass like, yeah, baby, when I they leave do. her, why would you say that? You know you not, nigga. Right. I'm not telling no woman I'm leaving my woman if I was out here like that. Because, okay. nigga, you know what house that you know what's good. Because you're not you know leaving. Hell no. Nine nah. times out of ten, hey, Fuck. stop believing a hype woman. He ain't going nowhere. And if he no. do leave her for Stand you, he going to do the same thing to you. Mm, going to feel bad I did this shit. So. It does. Mm-hmm. It does. So I do have a real serious question with the weather breaking and everything and the moisture and it's raining and then mm. it's sunny and then it's hot basement okay. floods oh shout out to all of those people who basement flood that I saw on yeah, Facebook that was up. I mean it's messed up and I just want to tell y'all that as I've gotten older I've realized that mm-hmm. look it's nothing that I could do to change any situation so all we got to do is pray about it I didn't yeah. used to be like that I used to be let my blood pressure get high my mom used to be like you gonna have a stroke or a heart attack girl yeah. now I just lay back and let God and, and, and I, I, yeah, I want to say um, definitely on, add on the Rita, what Rita D saying to the ladies who uh, to the people who basement flooded. You know what I'm saying? That shit was fucked up, man. People had to throw all they shit away. But to the bitches that didn't give these niggas no real niggas no play, and y'all <laughs> fucking them niggas and then come help y'all basement. Fuck y'all. Cause y'all could have had a real nigga to help you get that basement together, but you gonna choose that nigga that was fucking you good, now he ain't even come through. So, so fuck y'all. Now so, I'm gonna flood again. If the ba- <laughs> Okay, anyway, so my question is, what's what? Bitch. What? <laughs> he brought down. Are you a bitch? Yeah, because yeah. motherfuckers be playing, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be in the inbox that they can they can leave. <laughs> they all want what y'all want. So Shout now y'all out to the people flooded. who basically oh. flooded, but no, couldn't get no shit, help. <laughs> but that shit was fucked up, man. And, um... Definitely, y'all need to pick new niggas because y'all was in there. I seen y'all outside carrying that heavy shit. I tried <laughs> Did you stop and help? My <laughs> neighbor did ask. He was like, Do you need some help? Man. I'm like, Well, I was oh, nice. That you was. know that means I want to chill though. But I, 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 blocked, <laughs> a, I blocked a few dudes out there. I'm like, My neighbor is asking to help yeah, me. And ain't nobody texting me to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> went on the air during the floods. <laughs> Nigga, how the whole freeway flood, dog? Oh, freeway flood. Dog! That's, you remember uh, Lies You Lit With It? They was on yeah. 94 ditching it. Yeah. I heard they had jet skis stuck. on 94. Yeah, yeah they had that's, jet skis. Man, that you know what? crazy, I man. was so happy that it was none of our people that was mm. on them jet skis. Because you yeah. know what? Yeah. CP people, <laughs> countries, we don't do whatever we want to do. Can't nobody tell us what we ain't going to do. Nigga. We got boats out. Both, nigga. I seen a dog sled in the hood in the winter time. It was four dogs pulling that nigga in the boat. Nigga, look. Nigga, <laughs> niggas in the hood keep oh, shit, dog. Four wheelers, nigga, got the iguana. Like, nigga, you got the iguana, nigga. I seen the pig running. I seen the pig <laughs> running down. Hey. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Dog, in the hood, you can but find whatever. We're going to do whatever we want to do. Nigga, like, we're going to do what we want to do. We're going to do what we want to do. Man, that shit was funny, though, man. I ain't even lie to you, man. Hey, what's your question, baby? Go on, crime Oh, my question was, what's worse? And some fruit flies. Man, fruit flies. Them niggas get in your eyes. They be all on your eyes. They be all on your motherfucking eyes. Fruit flies. Like, bitch. 
can't Duh. kill you because I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah man. Well, they both, they, they horrible. Both they horrible. are annoying. Both mm -hmm. are. But my girl recently went out of town. Shout out to everybody that's traveling out here. Mm -hmm. My girl recently went out of town, and she told me that she didn't know roaches still exist. Man. She said she went to somebody's crib, mm -hmm. and, um... They had like real, real bad real roaches. roaches. So but I don't in know. Texas, I a roach her. is like an ant. And where? Like it's so common in Texas. Oh, yeah. And they're huge yeah. and they fly. It's just yeah. like a regular bug down and there. And that's what they said. Yeah. They come in your house like an ant. It's just. Yeah, yeah they I said they got them real bad down yeah. there. I can't do the roach. I was over my nigga. Roaches out. are bad bugs. Man, bad <laughs> bugs, nigga. <laughs> Bad bugs is the worst shit you can ever get in your motherfucking life, nigga. You gotta throw the whole house away. The whole, nigga. The whole house. Duh, you nigga gotta have... throw away. You Duh. have to move after that. I have fucked around and got some bed bugs, nigga. Y'all know I'ma tell the truth. Nigga, them bitches is relentless. They don't stop, nigga. So at the end of the day, I bed bugs or roaches. But what I was saying about roaches is roaches got that 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 hairy. Uh, uh, don't touch me. <laughs> that, don't touch me. They got that me. hairy feeling on their head. Uh, nigga, I'm outside at nighttime over my nigga house. I got my phone on break because I'm on Facebook. Why the roach crawled up my motherfucking phone, nigga? So that bitch me. He done lid on me, shut on me. Man, oh fuck my god! Fuck some roaches. What about know. mosquitoes? No, I ain't worried about no goddamn mosquitoes. Oh, they are mosquitoes horrible. will pull your sock down. <laughs> your damn echo. They will pull your pennies <laughs> to the side. Like, uh, and, uh, like this well, I haven't bite. I haven't had it bite oh, my inner man. thigh. If it come and bite my inner thigh, I'm just going in the house. Yeah. I'm just going in the house. I'm like, I'm going to stop with the shorts. Maybe that was too short. Man. Too short. Man. Yeah. That shit crazy. Mosquitoes is on another yeah, level. I'm not fucking with no goddamn roaches. I'm just saying, with everything opening back up, y'all, have y'all yeah. been out? Yeah, I've been out partying like a motherfucker. I was on the east side. Oh, Shout out to the east side over. right over Shout here. Shout out to the east side. Man, we had a good ass time, man. Just, I, I was out there hustling and everything in the dirt, nigga. Hustling foot in almost the dirt. broke my ankle in the foothold, <laughs> nigga, in the grass. Wow. But, um, man, I'm just glad to feel that energy again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't had that energy in a long time of people just partying, listening you to music. You know what? I don't miss that energy. I'm for real. I'm sorry, but I, I'm happy that we had a curfew. I was excited. You an introvert kind of little bit too. I cause yeah, cause you, She like to save money. She bought her bag, so yeah. she don't really, you know what I'm saying, go out too much. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you liked it in the house. I did. You did? I liked it in the house, but I liked the curfew because I knew at the end of the day, everything mm. was closed. People was getting in. It was no need for you to really be out here. If you was out mm. here, you was on some BS. Now, what I I didn't like it for was those curvy dudes who was trying to keep, still keep their side chicks in the midst of a pandemic. Yeah. Some of my boys, I'm like, hey, dog, uh-uh, you tripping. Like, we had a whole pandemic, people dying, and you still trying to go see her? Because in the pandemic, they wanted some dick. They like, nigga, I'm at home with these kids all day. I need to fuck for And why do your friends <laughs> always got to use the single friends yeah. as the going out people? Yeah. Stop doing that, y'all. If mm. y'all got somebody, stop saying you out with Sharita, okay? Yeah, don't say my name. Don't say my name. But now, throwing us under the bus. Yeah, yeah I mean, because... I'll be out with him. I'll be out yeah, with some people. Yeah, I'll be out with them, but at the same time. But at the time, same time, don't be having your mate not like me. No, nah, because I can't come to none of your functions at and your house. And you, you go to their house and that may be giving you the dirty eye. You they do. It ain't even no like dirty eye. Like Nigga, I'd have had niggas' wives go upstairs like, till he gone, I ain't coming back downstairs. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And he'll play it off for the 15 minutes like, nigga, ass. yeah, what you finna do, bro? <laughs> I already know. You know what I'm saying? Because you done used my name all week knowing I ain't with I you. I done slept on you know dubs, couch, I passed yeah, out. We yeah, was right. drunk at 3 o'clock right. in the morning. Ain't shit off of that 3 o'clock in the morning with TJ. He's coming out. <laughs> Why you sleep on a nigga? Let's get that, man. See, the whole thing is with relationships, man, and people, period, man. It's just, you gotta just watch who the fuck you fucking with and understand who you dealing with. If you got a nigga that like to go out and you met him out on a town, nigga, why you think he just gonna stop going out and just be all right. to you on a Saturday night? Let right. him get that night and let him go have some fun yeah. because at the end of the day, it's gonna better improve your relationship. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can't control nobody. Exactly. Everybody wanna say, this my man, so nigga, I, or this my woman, I'm about to lock her up. No, she not belong in no cage. She exactly. belong out here to something flat. Stop trying flat. to change people. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go That's ahead. the problem with relationships, marriages, people 
people try to change stuff, you know, change mm. people. And a lot of my friends that's married, I ask them, like, you know, how to marry life? And they like, this shit changed. Yeah. Well, how did it change? Mm. What made it change? Why did it change? Mm. You can't change nobody. Everybody no. got to change themselves. And that's the person that you married. That's the person yeah. that you're being with. That's the person that you're with. If you know that I like to go out on Sunday nights, here comes Sunday. Right. Don't start to tr stop my flow. <laughs> right. Try to trip early. Hey. Oh, you finna go out with them you hoes. Always you always already out. know I'm about you to go out. Are you and your friends <laughs> yeah. want to be with me and my yeah. Friends, cause yeah. ain't none of my friends. And a lot of times, women, when we go out, it don't be we be on the hall. Sometimes we just be sitting there talking, nigga, just drinking, just watching the environment and people watching. You know, you just want to be out with your fellas and talk shit. Yeah, like the game um, coming on tonight. Yeah, shout coming out to, on tonight. Shout out to the Suns. The Suns in the Bucks. Come on, man, the Bucks. Definitely. But I'm going with the Suns because I want CP3 to get a ring. Yeah, I'm gonna get a dog ass jersey too. They got some jerseys. You can get all kind of colors with them shoes and shit. Hell yeah. But I might not get that jersey because that jersey gonna be high, but I might get a shirt. Hell yeah. We should have thought about this before. Because <laughs> yeah, CP3, yeah. I, I'm so excited just to, mm -hmm. you know, be a former ball player and yeah. just. What you got over there, Camille Forbes? What you what you talking about? Oh, a question. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I you guys already touched on this about just dating and well, go the ahead. pandemic. Oh, we go, 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 go ahead. We, go. We, got, we got a couple minutes Take it back for me. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, how was. I, well, I take it both of y'all are single. Yeah. I don't know. I can't hear about hello. <laughs> I'm uh, not single. Okay. Yeah, You're not single? No, so I'm gonna ask two some. questions then. Yeah, one is circle. for <laughs> yeah. the single people. So Rita and I okay, are single. So, yeah, How was dating in the in the pandemic? I'm not and then single, after though. the pandemic. I love you. So I didn't date during the pandemic. <laughs> it was okay. too bad. My nerves was bad. My mom was on my phone every day, like you over there by yourself, who over there with you? Um, you know, so it, it was just it, I didn't know what to expect during the pandemic, so I didn't really date. I just kept my circle of friends that I had been hanging with. And even to this day, I still only hang with the, you know. One thing about us CP people mm. is we think that the people that you started the pandemic with is going to be the one. Them niggas was the niggas that fuck with you for real, though. Mm -hmm. That was that's the leftovers. Right. Right. So shout out to my circle. Yeah. My circle small, intimate. It is. Um, mm. Shout out to my circle, but dating in a pandemic was horrible. I think I'd have more texts and uh, conversations over the phone than I did, you know, face to face. Yeah. Well, I might have accepted, you yeah. know, some gifts. Yeah, some different motherfuckers. <laughs> some gifts. Like you wasn't coming in. You, ain't, you had to have the spray and the white. Yeah. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, you had to have white. definitely wasn't coming in. Take your shoes off. Watch your hands. Don't touch the spray. Don't touch the spray. It wasn't too many on. people that was allowed to come in my, um, my home. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny because I was getting so many guys saying, can I come over or come over? I'm like, no. I don't want you in my house, and yeah. I really don't want to be in your house. So yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to figure Man. something else out. Yeah, during COVID for me, it was just sex. That was it. Like, I, I, I didn't, because people was just at home just building up. You know, you couldn't Did really you go. practice celibacy? Yes. Okay. Oh, really? I practice celibacy. You know what I'm saying? That's People good. definitely <laughs> calling me. And I definitely Wait, right, but I thought you were in a relationship. Definitely, man. We in the, I'm in a love circle of positive <laughs> being around me that surrounds me and builds me. Definitely, man. And I'm, I want to say shout out to my love circle. I love you. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we about to get into Rita's Shout Reed, out to man. all your lovely. Man, we about to get into Rita's Reed, man. <laughs> Shout out to the Love Circle. They definitely power this with King Brooks Express. Uh, Rita Reed, what you talking about today, Queen? What's your, what's your topic of the day? <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This is for WJ and yeah, his love yeah. circle. I love you. <laughs> 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 No. Stop allowing people to have full access to y'all no, in your no, life. No, it's not towards us, dude. This conversation is not good. But listen, I'm listening you to you. You deserve to be poured into the same way they pour into y'all, for real. Mm. That's <laughs> anything. That Stop allowing people to call you when they need something or they want something. Mm. If the reciprocation ain't the same, mm. then let it go. The way you allow others to treat you is only a reflection of what you feel that you deserve. Mm. So love, laugh, and live, y'all. You only get one life to create lasting memories that affect what shapes you. Mm. Nigga, this nigga get good. No, I ain't gonna lie. That yeah. was a good one because we do allow people to do what they want to us just because yep. we want a little bit of their air. A little just bit a little of bit. energy. And that shit don't even be worth what they do to it us. It don't be worth it. It don't even be worth it. So why do we be that vulnerable with people that we don't care about like because that? Because you know what? You just us. want that feeling. Mm. That satisfaction. Like, like, that five minutes mm. of... Mm. 
Nigga. Yes. Yes. Ah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You want that? You want that glory? You want that? Hey, you know, it's just well, you want that nut you bust. Mm. Self love. Yes. Self love is the best love, and when, the more self love you have, the more you pour into yourself, the less you would take of that. Yeah, but you know what? It feel better when somebody pouring that love into you, though. But it gotta be the same. It feel like they. Feel like they. They, 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 they. energy is, is different. Like damn, like nigga, I, I know I love myself because I have to. But with somebody else, it's like you had earned a, you know, I don't know, I don't want to seem crazy, but it's like you didn't, you didn't made yourself presentable enough where somebody care about you like you care about yourself, and I guess that's that's what love is, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, well, that's that's a definition. I don't know, that shit is crazy. I, all right, we about to get to the Herbal Tea Podcast. Y'all niggas got too fucking serious out here. We in the fucking <laughs> building with my here. motherfucking guest Camille in this bitch. She's smiling, Gemini's in this motherfucker. Hey, For real, hey. we gonna talk you out of some cash. And we go get some ass and keep it moving. But at the end of the day, we're here with my, my co host, Rita D. So, we gonna, what we're going to do at the end of our podcast, every podcast, is we're going to shout out a black business. So, Camille, since you are our guest, shout out your black business that you have or a black business that you fuck with. And, um, hey, man, rock with us, man. Definitely, man. Or I'll go first. It don't matter. Okay. Well, I'm going to um, mm -hmm. shout out a friend of mine. My business is in the. Well, I do sell. Um, health and wellness products. Mm -hmm. So you can go on my Instagram, Aramea Nashe, Aramea underscore Nashe, and you can see my link to see those products. But I'm going to shout out my friend. He has a um, T-shirt line called Detroit Paid. Okay. So if you go on Facebook or Instagram, I think it's just Detroit Paid. Okay. Man, that sounds, yeah, uh, man. Hell yeah. Girl, I'm feeling that nail color you got out there. Yes, that's you know, you saying? <laughs> yes. You know, black people will shout out uh, Compliment, girl. Hey, polka dots. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you doing that? You doing that stripes? You know, we got the nail color on, so I just want yeah. to, you know, shout her Thank out with you, that. girl. My yeah. sister had this nail color. We were like, she's the Gemini, too. We were like, okay. okay. Twinning last night. Twinning? Yeah, twinning last night. We love the Gemini's, too, man. <clears throat> shout out to the Gemini's, the real Zodiac sign. Either the Capricorns, too, though. Hey, Capricorns, cool. you know we cool. <laughs> you, know, you know we What's cool. What's up, Rita D? What, what you showing? You know what? Me? Earlier, remember I was telling y'all what Adidas stood for? So I had to text my boy because yeah, he's the one who had told wrong. me. It she was all wrong. Yeah. It was all wrong, okay? What was it, baby? Okay, okay. but it's, it's all dudes in Detroit ain't shit, Adidas. All dudes in, in Detroit, Detroit ain't, ain't shit. shit. That's what Nick, he said. Let's edit that part said. out. We're not going to even have women out here saying that bullshit. So <laughs> when I heard that, when I heard that, I was like, well, I don't believe that because I got a lot of dudes that own their own company and their business and they That's out here shit. doing it, entrepreneurship. So, hey, hit me up on Facebook and Instagram at Rita DR 1981 for Instagram and on Facebook. Give me your business. I'm going to test it out. I'm yes. going to bring it to the show if yes. it's the bomb. So yes. this next lady I'm presenting, mm -hmm. hey, she's family. Her name or her business is the Traveling Junkie. Go mm -hmm. on to TravelingJunkie.com. You can order your shirts, your tote bags. You can order apparel. It's traveling season. I see everybody catching flights, not feelings no more. Mm -hmm. So go on <laughs> to the TravelingJunkie.com and catch those shirts. Catch that apparel. Traveling season. Catch those flights, not those feelings. Mm, man, that sound like a fucking commercial. But uh, we about to put your, um, Rita D on Venmo so she can send y'all happy birthdays and all that shit, Aww, too. So we about to, we definitely going to put y'all in the game, too. Um, I am Uncle Dub, man. I want to say um, shout out to... Um, Early Bird Garment Company, man. They got some nice shirts and shit like that. They've been all over the D. I want to shout out King Brooks Express. I want to shout out Brooks Group Global. Definitely the engine behind this, man. <clears throat> I want to shout out, excuse me for my little that's, that's smoke. Do you need a COVID test? No, nigga, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> People stop with But um, I want to shout out um, to our engineer, man. She's been doing a bomb-ass job. We glad she's back. Nigga, I stop playing. Her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she got us together, man. Thank and you. Um, we want to shout out to Thank the Herbal you. Tea Podcast. And what I want y'all to understand is you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. The hardest step to greatness is the first one. And this is the Herbal Tea Podcast, and we out this motherfucker. Peace. Peace. Hey. Did they get my shirt?